How yeah, about that? That's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Did you guys well, kind of feel that was. way as well? I don't know because there was guys that had dealings with Jim um, from WCW days and even prior to that that maybe had issues with him mm-hmm. that I didn't right. because I always, I always, and I still do, I think, the world with Jim. Um, but is this something that you or somebody who didn't have a problem would come up and say, hey, listen, this, between you and me, it's really fucked what they're doing to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what exactly is his relationship with Vince McMahon? You look historically at stuff like this and then later on, You'd think that's Here. a very strange... Yeah, it's strange, because like, I remember one time being in, in the office with Vince, and it was just Vince and uh, Jim. And Jim was sitting there eating a plate of food at the time. And, you know, Vince and I, were, we, we were having a disagreement about something. We were debating something. And he was nice enough to, you know, to fucking um, humor me. <laughs> you know, by participating in this debate with okay. me. Okay. You know, I learned a lot from these debates. Um, finally, when he told me I was right, it was like the last time, you know, I think I was gone after that. <laughs> that's what it, that's the price. Yeah, exactly. You get over on finally you're gone. But uh, yeah, where were we? we uh, there's Jim Ross eating and you're talking to Vince. Yeah, and Vince has explained to me how sometimes you got to like learn to like the taste of shit. And then he looks over at Jim and he goes, right, Jim? And I remember Jim just going like that. And I was like, Fuck. <laughs> That scene in the toy where wow. Jackie Gleason makes Ned Beatty drop his pants. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Boy, there's a reference I probably will edit out of this. Is there talk about this in the locker room? Can't imagine there wouldn't be. Yeah, because, I mean, it was like, you know, first Vince got, you know, uh, charged. And right. then it was a few months later, and there's that with, with Jerry. Um, it, Really, it was like PR-wise, it was a really tough time. Is this something for the industry? King had a reputation for, like a well-known. You know, when you pass an 11-year-old girl at the guardrail, say, "Oh, there's Jerry's fans," or or it, did this catch people off guard? It didn't seem like it caught anybody off guard. But I mean, um, you know, I mean, there's always stories that go around about people, you know, until they are stories, until you actually. Um, are in court. Or are, are in court or fucking uh, are witness to something, you know? Were you witness to anything? Never. No. Uh, uh, Mel Phillips with the feet. Were you witness to that? Was uh, he wasn't you. around. Was I, no. Oh, you privy to McMahon's reaction to the lawsuit at any point throughout? No, but... The, the attorney that represented Jesse was my attorney. So um, later was my attorney after I after I got uh, Barry Bloom for the agent. Like you know, um, he turned me on to uh, David Olson, who was the attorney in Minneapolis, which is where I live. So it made sense that I used him. Except for the thing is, when I went, you know, went to go back after Bischoff fired me, they wouldn't deal with David because of past animosity. Then when fucking Jesse became governor, next thing you know, everybody's asshole buddies and fucking friends, and next thing you know, Barry Bloom and fucking David Olson are at the shows and fucking, you know, everything's all fine. That's the sole reason Vince would ever deal with Jesse again, right, is because he became a figure beyond wrestling mm-hmm. and therefore even more valuable than wrestling could make. Sure. Um, how come nobody else sued for this? He wasn't the only one. Uh, probably, probably um, it takes a lot of resources to go against a fucking uh, machine like that, you know. Um, and maybe other people didn't have as much of a case as Jesse did. Because he was on color for yeah. all the matches. Yeah, that's what yeah. most of it was about. Right. Um, but you don't ever hear Vince uttering any kind of like, yeah. like don't mention I remember, well. yeah, because Jesse told me, because we were at the gym and he... He told me, like, he called one time, and the only thing that fucking Vince was, Vince was so, he couldn't get over the money thing. That's my fucking money, more or less, is what he told Jesse. You yeah, know? The, the, what, this was before the before he became governor. The settlement. You yeah. can say to him, that's my money. That's my fucking money. You were never given a dictate, don't ever utter the name Ventura around me again? No, right? never. Okay. He would never do anything like that. He would never say anything like that. Vince? Never. Why? Because it shows weakness or yes. it shows you got to him a little bit? Yes. Right. 
How yeah, about that? That's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Did you guys well, kind of feel that way was. as well? I don't know because there was guys that had dealings with Jim um, from WCW days and even prior to that that maybe had a, issues with him mm -hmm. that I didn't right. because I always, I always, and I still do, I think, the world with Jim. Um, but is this something that you or somebody who didn't have a problem would come up and say, hey, listen, this, between you and me, it's really fucked what they're doing to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what exactly is his relationship with Vince McMahon? You look historically at stuff like this, and then later on, you'd think that's You're, a very strange... Yeah, it's strange, because like, I remember one time being in, in the office with Vince, and it was just Vince and uh, Jim. And Jim was sitting there eating a plate of food at the time. And, you know, Vince and I, were, we, we were having a disagreement about something. We were debating something. And he was nice enough to, you know, to fucking... Um, humor me, <laughs> you know, by participating in this debate with okay. me. Okay. <laughs> you know, I learned a lot from these debates. Um, finally, when he told me I was right, it was like the last time, you know, I think I was gone after that. <laughs> that's what, it, that's the price. Yeah, exactly. You get over on finally you're gone. But, uh, yeah, where were we? we uh, there's Jim Ross eating and you're talking to Vince. Yeah, and Vince has explained to me how sometimes you got to like to learn to like the taste of shit. And then he looks over at Jim and he goes, right, Jim? And I remember Jim just going like that, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> that scene in the toy where wow. Jackie Gleason makes Ned Beatty drop his pants. Something almost. like that, yeah. yeah. Boy, there's a reference I probably will edit out of this. Is there talk about this in the locker room? Can't imagine there wouldn't be. 